Hi, it's great pleasure to see you again in our semantic course as a follow-up of our previous issues that we discussed in my previous videos. Currently, we are talking about polysemy and homonymy, which are also in relation with the links between words meaning. Polysemy and homonymy are two terms that are not easy to be distinguished. It is not just like synonymy and polysemy, hypernymy, hyponymy. It's not that easy. Polysemy and homonymy are even more complex. Now let us directly talk about the two terms. Polysemy is a word having more than one meaning. Say for instance, plain, P-L-A-I-N, has more than one meaning, four meanings. Namely, number one, easy or simple. Number two, not good looking. Number three, undecorated. And number four, a level area of land. Whereas homonymy are the relationship of meaning between words that are actually different in terms of meaning and in terms of etymology, maybe. But they happen to have the same pronunciations, they are pronounced or spoken out in the same way or they have the same spelling. Say I, that means first person singular, that refers to the speaker. The second meaning is I, E, Y and E, of which meaning is an organ of our body that functions to make us see. And the third one, I, E, Y and E, that means agree. So all three are different words and different meanings, but they happen to be pronounced alike. They have the same pronunciation. However, this kind of understanding is still too preliminary. We have to talk in a more scientific way between the differences of the two terms. Now the first question is, how do you know that plain is purely polysemic just because it has four meanings? Who knows that the word plain that means number one, number two, number three, and number four are separate words that are coincidentally pronounced the same. Who knows? Because in languages of the world that have different language families, there might be some words that are not related one to another in terms of family and in terms of meaning or in terms of etymology are pronounced the same. 
we are not polysemic in japanese language for example there is a name of product that we call sogo in bataknis there is also the word sogo they are pronounced the same but they have different meanings and they have origin from different languages from different language families so someday when it is adopted by bahasa indonesia we may not make sure that this is a polysemic word now let's come back to our first example plain as you see plain that means easy simple undecorated not good looking belong to adjective grammatical categories this is adjective phrase or this is adjective while meaning number four a level area of land belongs to another grammatical category namely noun or noun phrase so with this outstanding difference we may guess that plain is not purely polysemic because there is one meaning which is very much different from the other meanings adjectives and noun in order to be plain as purely polysemic meaning number four has to be excluded okay and the next one homonymic yes i is composed of three words which are different one from another pronounced the same is homonymic maybe we say that but who knows it is a polysemic but let us try to continue to talk about plain there are some tests or examinations that need to apply to determine whether it is polysemic or not the first one we have to know the word origin or etymology of the word plain that means number one through number four if they are from the same language and they have the same grammatical categories we may say that it is polysemic but we must make sure that plain that means a level area of land in comparison with the other previous three meanings should be different words so there is a separate word for easy simple not good looking undecorated from the play, the word plain that means a level area of land if we try to trace the word origin of the two words we'll find it that they are borrowed from different 
languages. So it is not purely polysemic. Let us take a look at another example. Sound. Sound has two meanings. Namely, number one, voice or noise. And number two, healthy. Is it polysonic? As I said, if we apply test number one to a medical category, then it is not polysemic. Because meaning number one, noise is a noun. And meaning number two, healthy is adjective. So the two words cannot be put together in the same lexical field. No. So it has to be rejected. It is not polysemic. The next one. The word bank has two meanings. The first one, financial institution, where you do business transactions and so on. And meaning number two is sort of fever. Is it polysemic? Is bank a polysemic? Unique examination that we call word origin or etymology. Bang that means financial institution is a loan word from French. Okay. And then plain that means sort of river is a loan word from a Scandinavian language other than French. Since their whole origins or their etymology is not the same, then bank is not a polysemic word. You have to keep this in mind. And the next one. Synonymy and antonymy can be a good examination to test whether one is polysemic. In the word plain, that means easy, simple, undecorated, and not good looking, we could apply synonymy as simple. That is not applicable for meaning number four, a level area of land. Antonymy can also be applicable for meaning number one, number two, and number three. Complex. This is the antonym of easy and decorated, simple and not good looking, but not the, an, the antonym of a level area of land. So it should be actually very much different and should be excluded from the group of polysemic word plane. And another one is polysemic words. There are meanings where in some of which there is commonality, like plain, that means easy, simple, not good looking, undecorated, the commonality is simple. It is not applicable for 
a level area of land. So what we suspect of being polysemy is now no longer polysemic, but it is a homonymic because the same words with different meaning, meaning number one through number three and meaning number four, yes, are pronounced or have the same spelling coincidentally, but they actually distinctive words. Plain for meaning number one through number three is a different form, is a different term from plain. That means a level area of land. So it is no longer polysemic. It is homonymic. Right? This is it. So when a word is called polysemic, yes, maybe question and rigorous scientific analysis about it should be carried out. Yes? And homonymic, yes, different words with different meanings that are pronounced the same, yes, will be polysemic whenever the meanings are the same. Let me say, have the same grammatical category, have the same etymology, can be applicable, okay, uh, antonymy and synonymy can be applicable and there is commonality there it may be polysemic, all right? So once again, whenever you want to talk about polysemy and homonymy, it is not easy. So polysemy is a word having more than one meaning, and homonymy are words with different meanings that have the same spelling cannot be kept in mind as the sole criteria of what polysemy and homonymy is. Polysemic can be homonymic and homonymic can be polysemic. I think that's all we can talk about at this moment and we'll meet again in the same channel of YouTube on my next video concerning other issues of semantics. Goodbye.